Hello everybody, my name is Wakashin West. I wanted to take the time to go over the conclusion for our findings for for-profit in higher education trends and issues. As you see, my counterparts took the time to really dive deep into the trends and issues affecting the for-profit industry in a positive as well as a negative way. As Lou stated in the beginning of our intro, that the primary focus was not necessarily to bash the for-profit industry, but really dig deep into the Harkins report and show what for-profit or the for-profit industry is doing in today's educational arena. For decades, the for-profits have enjoyed grooming enrollment and annual profits that has climbed to the billions. Although public support for online education has grown in recent years, both employers and students remain skeptical about the effectiveness and the quality of online degrees. So one of my counterparts, Anna, as she stated in her part of her presentation, student achievement and financial component are pretty much the key factors when it comes to looking at the for-profit industry. It all started with the 2010 investigation by the Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, which was chaired by Senator Tom Harkin. This report was pretty much designed to look closely at the use of federal financial aid funding in the for-profit institutions. The investigation found soaring dropout rates, low job placement rates, and revenues that, can, that came primarily from federal financial aid programs. So once again, we look back at Anna's findings and we notice student achievement and financial component are very key when it comes to the for-profit industry. What's happening here is traditionally public and private nonprofit institutions of higher learning are similar to the for profit institutions in that they are all providers of instruction at the post secondary level. The traditional universities and for profits differ, however, in their control, operation, and mission. Traditional universities are configured as nonprofit organizations whose stated mission often invokes a service of the public good. In contrast, for-profits are structured at profit-maximizing firms whose success depends on providing a valuable service to the student slash customer. For-profits can only be profitable if they're able to provide a service that is valuable to the student. So with that being said, we need to make sure this education arena is providing a service that's allowing our students to graduate. Student achievement is very important in this day and age, it's no longer about hyper-growth, but retention. So we need to make sure that in the for-profit industry, we have measures that are safeguarding and making sure these students are graduating. So as my counterparts have spoken in their presentation, that things like gainful, gainful employment, low default rates are being looked at heavily to make sure when these students are graduating, they're actually able to receive a job that is going to allow them to pretty much pay back their student loans. The recent growth of the for-profit industry has aroused some criticism and concerns about the place of for-profit in the education setting and practices within the industry. Critics argue that for-profit universities are simply diploma mills that push students through programs of dubious quality with the primary goal of increasing the firm's bottom line. Supporters of the industry assert that it provides educational opportunities to traditionally underserved students in areas of study that directly increase employability. While neither extreme view is likely to be completely accurate, there is no doubt that the for-profit educational institutions are becoming a much more prominent part of the edu higher educational landscape. So as you see, for-profit industry has a lot of positives and it also has some negatives but the end result is it's a providing a service for students or underserved population when it comes to obtaining an education. So as my counterparts have spoke on, the for-profit industry is here to stay and it's something that is not necessarily a negative thing, but it can, does have it, is negative connotations attached to them at times. So in conclusion, the for-profit industry is something that is needed to continue to have our higher educational landscape thrive. Thank you for your time and have a great evening.